All right, now recently Samsung updated the latest Galaxy S23 Ultra with the April security patch and that particular update brought in some important features or changes or let's say improvements for camera application. Some of the camera features were improved with that all new update. The update size was almost 1 GB on the S23 Ultra. And now Samsung has pushed a brand new update on its predecessor, the Galaxy S22 Ultra that I have here. And the size is much, much bigger. As you can see, it is 1681.63 MB, which is pretty heavy for this particular update. This is the update with security patch for April 2023. And in the change log, it says the camera and gallery functions have been improved. That is something noticeable here. And then we have got the security and stability improvements, which we usually get every month with these security patches. Now let's focus on the first point, the camera and gallery functions, which have been improved. Now I'm really excited to inform you guys that the image clipper feature has arrived on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now this image cutout or the image clipper feature was available on S23 Ultra on One UI 5.1 when the device was launched. And when S22 Ultra got the One UI 5.1 update, this feature was not made available. And now Samsung has added the image clipper, the object lifting feature from an image or a video, which is just fantastic. As you can see from an image inside the gallery, I can just press and hold on the object to snip it. And when I release the finger, we get copy, share, save as image options. We can directly copy this image and paste it on any other application or share it from right here or save it inside the gallery application. That is just amazing. Now let's see if it works on a video file. Let me just play this video here. I'll just pause it and I'll press and hold on this particular area. As you can see, it is able to cut this image out from the background. Thanks to Samsung for dropping this feature on the predecessor, the Galaxy S22 series. I'm not very sure whether the regular S22 and S22 Plus have received this update with this feature or not. If you own one of those devices, do drop a comment and let the community know whether you have got this feature or not. And I'm not really sure about S21 series as well. So if you own any of these phones, do drop a comment and let us know whether you have received this feature or not. This is definitely a major feature drop and uh, probably that's the reason for this huge size we have received. Now, Coming to the camera section, I really did not notice any major changes or features being added. I was actually expecting a couple of features from the camera assistant module to land on S22 Ultra as well, but I don't see them. As you can see on the S22 Ultra, when you go to the camera and go to camera assistant, we've got this prioritized focus over speed toggle, which is not available on the S22 series yet. And when I tap on capture speed, we have got these additional high resolution options for faster capture or faster post processing, which have not arrived on the Galaxy S22 series. But probably like the S23 Ultra, the super steady mode in low light condition in full HD 60 FPS might have been improved on the S22 Ultra. You guys let me know if you have noticed any new changes or features being added in the camera section. Go ahead and drop a comment. I'm not really able to see any new features or improvements here in the camera section. If you guys are able to find it, to drop a comment and let us know. Along with these features, the security of your device will be improved with this update. If you haven't received the update yet, go ahead and check out in the settings in the software section. Tap on download and install. If the update is available in your region, you will be able to install it. And if you're on a carrier network, you may get this update a little late. So be patient and wait for it. And if you have already received the update, I would really appreciate if you guys could drop a message and let us know whether you have received all these features and changes and how is the stability, how is the battery life, do let us know that is going to help the community as well. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.